His sense of humor was extremely well developed, and his hunger for a better world was evident through his almost 87 years. He was a friend all the way back to when I met him outside the Charles Theater, which was showing avant-garde movies on Avenue B in the spring of 62. I published his poetry in my mimeographed magazine, Fuck You, a Magazine of the Arts. And we founded the Fugs. He thought of the name from Norman Mailer's Naked and the Dead. We formed it one night in late 1964. We started rehearsing at my Peaside bookstore, located in a former kosher meat store, located next to his apartment on East 10th Street. I soon discovered that his songs were very nuanced and subtle, yet bold and daring at the same time. Thule Kupferberg is a, an American treasure, a national wonder, a genius in the footsteps of Stephen Foster, Woody Guthrie, and other major tunesmiths for songs such as Nothing, Morning, Morning, Carpe Diem, Kill for Peace, The Ten Commandments, When the Mode of the Music Changes, and of course, CIA Man. He was born on Cannon Street in the way, way Lower East Side. He grew up in a household where Yiddish was spoken, and his grandparents on both sides came from little towns in Galicia, now the Ukraine. I used to joke that he brought the spirit of anarcho-Hasidism to the folks. We had many adventures together, such as the exorcism of the Pentagon and the exorcism of the grave of Senator Joseph McCarthy in Appleton, Wisconsin. In recent years, Dooley faced down great health calamities with remarkable energy. A couple of strokes left him blind, yet he still created video pieces, which he had posted on YouTube. He loved his family very much. His wife, Sylvia, his children, Noah, Samara, Joey Sachs, plus three grandchildren. And he was deeply concerned for them, even as his own health gave way. Oh, how I miss him. And now, uh, the folks, this version has been together 25 years since 1985, and we'll do a sequence of his songs. And anybody wants to speak afterwards, you see Noah Kufferberg. So we'll start out with a song from a, a recent album called Try to Be Joyful. Thank you. 